Ready to check. Hello guys, welcome to my stream. This is Captain Darkwood, and today I'm gonna be doing a video. I'm actually on YouTube live right now. Unfortunately, Facebook uh, blocked me from streaming for about a day, but uh, I'm gonna be making this video today. I'm gonna be sharing it and posting it on my uh, Facebook page tomorrow. Uh, today, I decided to do something a little bit different. Um, actually, I was thinking a few days ago about the times when I was in flight school down in Miami, Florida, and I was like, you know what? Why not? I want to go ahead and make a video of uh, of a private pilot lesson. Uh, let's go ahead and let's pretend that I'm a chief flight instructor and I'm teaching my students how to fly a Cessna 172 and uh, and the process of the uh, traffic pattern, the uh, takeoff procedures, landing procedures, checklists, and all of that. So uh, hopefully we're gonna have. Uh, ATC coverage in Tamiami Airport, uh, the ICAO is Kilo Tango Mike Bravo in the city of Miami, and uh, hopefully uh, we're going to have a full ATC so I can show you how to do a VFR flight plan, and uh, because most of the videos I make, it's pretty much IFR, IFR, I would like, you know what, let's go ahead and make a VFR video. And uh, pretty much what I'm going to do now, I'm sitting here, I'm going to go through all the checklists from the pre-flight check to all the instruments inside and, and so on. And also, I'm going to be doing the traffic pattern. I'm going to explain you what to do, uh, what are what is the process about the uh, upwind, crosswind, uh, downwind, base and final, uh, what to say, what to do. Uh, sometimes they tell you to do westerns when you're landing and so on. So I, I don't know what she's expecting us right now, but that's pretty much what I'm doing. Uh, I don't want to get into stalls or anything like that. Uh, I might do some slow flights here. Uh, but the whole point is to have fun and learn about proper aviation procedures and, uh, and about vaccine, which is, uh, the whole point of my channel. So uh, let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I want to see if I have some uh, ATC coverage here. So let's go check here. Plugins and squat bots and connect. Uh, you know what? I'm not Delta 607 today. So let's just say Cessna 607. How about that? So Cessna 607 and connect. Hopefully, I'm going to have ATC coverage. And this is awesome. This is awesome. I'm looking forward to do that. Uh, I'm so excited because uh, when I was in flight school, I, uh, I was always thinking like, man, I want to be a, a chief flight instructor, you know, or I want to be a certified instructor. I want to teach my students. But I never got the chance to finish my commercial license. That's most of you guys know I'm a private pilot with instruments ratings. Uh, working, working on getting it back into flight school to finish my commercial, but uh, that's that's another story for another day. So let's go ahead and let's get it started. So let's check for showing who's online. So we have uh, Miami Ground, and I don't know if Miami Ground can give me. Uh, clearance here if anything i can teach you about unicorn 1 to 2.8 how about that but let me check my map real quick and uh let's get started so i'm gonna be flying this beautiful skyhawk cessna 172 i uh, just tried to date it as basic as possible i didn't even want to try the uh the garmin g1000 here uh so this like i said this is pretty much like a private pilot lesson how about that is most of you are just watching this video and you're trying to get into flight school. This is actually a good idea of what you're going to be expecting in flight school if you're trying to get your private license, your, pri or your private pilot license. So uh, my map's going to be loading. So just give it a few minutes. Uh, we can start with my checklist. So here we are. Uh, yeah, let's put it here. That'll be fine. So pre-flight inspection so this is inside the cabin and inside the cabin I have here uh, documents arrow which is usually in the glove compartment uh, let's go ahead and press Y here 
I don't think I will be able to have it here. Oh, look, I have this guy right here. That's a note like me, so I'm just going to take it off from there. I don't like it. But okay, yep, documents inside the plane. Check. And control lock remove. I don't think I have any control lock over here. And control lock, uh, aviation, initial switch off. Check. Aviation switch off. Avionics switch off. Check. Master switch on. There you go. Flaps down. Got it. A few count to the check. Okay. Left hand, right tank, check. And master switch off. Check. And fuel valve on on both. Check. All right, looks like my checklist in the cabin is completed. Now let's go outside to the empennage of the plane. Empennage is pretty much the back of the airplane. So let's go to the back here. Whoop. There you go. Oh, David, why do you leave the door open? <laughs> Usually when you're in flight school, you're driving one of the... Uh, uh, let's say pretty basic Cessna 172, so I don't say other words. So you're flying on a pretty basic Cessna 172, you have no air conditioning at all. And, uh, you're flying pretty much with natural air. <laughs> How about that? So on summer days, like right now in Florida, it's like 90 something degrees now. It's pretty hot inside. So, uh, you leave the doors open and the only time you close the doors before takeoff. Uh, but... Let's go ahead and check here the empennage. And where's my checklist? Checklist right here. So we have uh, empennage, empennage surface check. Uh, looks clear to me. For some reason, I cannot check the bottom. But yeah, check. Uh, second, if you guys are wondering what am I watching, watching this part right here, empennage. Baggage door check. Okay, it's locked. Check. I cannot open it. And horizontal stabilizer secure. Oh, check. And oh, why does it keep disappearing? Uh, elevate horizontal stabilizer, elevator free and secure. Check. Uh, rudder free and secure. Check. And tail tie down disconnect. I don't have any tie downs. Uh, lights and antenna check. Okay, check. And let's see. Whoa, what does it keep doing that? Okay, so where am I? Where am I? Okay, here you go. So rotor tail, then lights check, EOT antenna check. Okie dokie. Looks like we are good to go. Uh, now. Let's go ahead to the right wing. This one right here. Right wing, flaps free and secure. Check. Usually when I was in flight school, they always told me to check around this area here to make sure it does not have any obstructions or anything like that. Always checking the bottom of it. I won't be able to test any fuel and test the quantity inside the uh right and left tank i won't be able to measure the oil but uh let's pretend i'm doing it how about that uh okay so right when flaps free and secure aileron free and secure uh lights when tip flashlight navigation okay there you go free and secure uh, leading edge, usually leading edge is this part right here, this part of the plane, you want to check 
does not have any damages or anything like that does not have any cracks so that's check again guys everything I'm doing right now is a pre-flight check this is a requirement every time you go flying so not every time you go fly every time before you go flying you have to do the whole work around the pre-flight inspection on your, on your plane so uh, wing tie down disconnect check you, we usually used to have cones in by the uh, by the tires. Uh, okay, wind tie down, main wheel, tire, and brakes. Check. You always want to make sure you don't have any wears on the tires. Usually, when you're in private school, uh, of course, you're a student pilot, and anything could happen to the tire. It would have been blown off. Would it be a uh, ball? You can probably see the wires and all of that. That's bad. So you want to make sure that the tire is in good conditions. Uh, right wing tie down, main wheel tire, tire brake, fuel cube drain. I won't be able to do this here. I won't be able to measure the uh, the quantity of the uh, gas in the plane because I, I, I cannot do that here. Uh, fuel quantity visual check, okay. Uh, fuel failure cap, let's say check. Now let's go to the nose here. Going to the nose of the plane. I have nose, 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 nose. Engine oil, won't be able to check it, so check. Strainer drain, fuel selector, check. Drain valve sample, check. Uh, prop spanner, check. Air filter, check. Uh, landing lights. Taxi lights, check. Uh, nose, trot, tire, check. Static port, check, open. Okay, check. Now let's go to the left wing. In the left wing, my, let's check for main wheel tire brakes. That's looks good to me. I'm pretty sure it's good to fly simulators to check. Uh, fuel cube drain. Let's I can't check it again, but check. Fuel quantity check. Fuel filler cart check. Pipe up tube cover check. Uh, stall warning opening is this thing right here. So check. Uh, fuel tank vent. Check wind tie down. Check leading edge. Again, making sure it does not have any cracks, any type of damages or anything like that. So it looks good. Of course, it's a flight simulator. So check and uh, leading edge lights, wind tips. Yeah, check uh, my strobe, my beacon, and my navigation. Uh, aileron free and secure. Check flaps. Check. Okay. So now we can get inside the plane. So we have done our pre-flight inspection in the outside. So now we need to go ahead and get inside the cockpit. So let's get inside the cockpit right now before I get into communications. All right, here's the cockpit. Let me go ahead and put this tiny window. Let me see if I can put it over here so it doesn't block any instruments. I don't want to make it big. Come on. Come on. Let's go on the side. There it is. So before engine start, pre-flight pre -flight check complete. That's good. Seat bells. Uh, passengers, please put your simple lunch, please. Thank you. Okay. And fuel shot valve. Fuel shot of valve on both. Have it right here. So check. Uh, avionics switch off. Okay, they've been off. Electronic equipment off. Circuit breakers. This thing's right here. You want to make sure they're inside. You want to make sure they're not sticking out or anything like that. So check. Brake test. That's one. That's two. That's both. Check. And before start engine, okay. 
So now that we have this here, uh, start engine. So make sure it's going to be rich. Let's put this all the way back. So, okay. Uh, carp heat cold. Master switch on. Oh, it was on. Okay, master switch on. Beacon light on. Okay, hold on. Give me one second. What am I doing here? Uh, yeah, landing lights were off. Okay, so let's go back here. So make sure uh, rich check card heat cold check master switch on check uh, beacon light on. There you go. Uh, prime as required. So usually with three pumps, one, two, three, check throttle open one inch one eight. So that's gonna be about right there. Yep. And da 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 da. Prime must require shuttle open one inch and prop clear. Okay, so once you say that, we're good to start this engine. So let's go ahead and get it started. Okay, so we have started the engine. There you go. I don't want to pay attention to this sign right now. Okay, remember that if you're in a private pilot lesson, lesson and you have your instructor uh, right next to you, he's going to be testing you. He's to make, he's, he wants to make sure you're following the process 100%. When you're in flight school, there's no margin for error, so everything has to be done 100%. Now, uh, ignition start. So oil pressure check. Where's my oil pressure? Oil pressure check. Uh, have you on a switch on? Have you on a switch on? Radio on set. Got it. Uh, transponder on and alt. There you go. Uh, winds flop up. Mets Cherlin. Uh, ready for taxi. So now, this is the point where I want to make sure uh, ATC is going to give me coverage in Tamiami International Airport, ICAO, KTMB, Kilo, Tango, Mike, Bravo. Uh, for those of you, if you're wondering, uh, where is that at? Well, Tamiami, City of Miami, of course. Uh, so let's go ahead and call uh, ground. Let's see if they can give me coverage here. I hope so. But before I do that, uh, let's go ahead and file a BFI plan. So uh, we can do it from here. It's pretty easy. So, departing airport, KTMB, destination, I have no destination, so I'm just going to leave it in blank, alternate, uh, let's say it's 51, uh, which is uh, Homestead, uh, cruise altitude, uh, I don't think I'm going to be going over 2,000, so true airspeed, I'm just going to leave that in blank. Uh, departure time, that's Sulu time, no, Eastern time, is that what it says? So, 18.32, and uh, departure time, ACT, flight time hours, uh, let's say about an hour, fuel tank, uh, I think it should be there. There. Now, this is a VFR plan, so route, uh, let's start here, traffic. Pattern and touch and go. There you go. Remerge squat box transmitter receive sent. So let's go ahead and get uh, clearance from Miami ground, which I hope they can cover me over here. So let's see. Squat box. Let me make sure I have my headphones working for squat box. 
microphone wireless there you go wireless okay radio check radio check looks like it's working so let's get connected so let's see all right so miami 8 is i hope he can give me a clearance here radio check Five by five. Miami Ground, you think you can give me coverage in Miami? Say again. You think you can give me uh, ground coverage in Miami? KTMB? That's a negative. I'm sorry. I'm only Miami uh, Miami International. All right, thank you about that. Okay, well, we have nothing. So in this case, if they don't give you coverage, uh, you want to use Unicom 122.8. So you want to make sure you put your frequency here. So I have it on standby and I switch it to 122.8. Now, what do you do with 122.8? That's actually Unicom. Uh, most places when you are on an uncontrolled airspace, that's what you do. Uh, why? why? Why do you do that? Because you want to make sure you're not involved on in any accidents and you want to clear yourself before you make any movement. So right now I'm parked and I'm going to be taxiing to runway. So what I will say is I pretty much know this airport like my right hand. So I know where I am, which is the fly school where I used to uh, fly when I was getting my private license in Miami. Uh, usually for runway niner, they used to tell you, ah, oh, tell Miami Ground, taxi via Echo Hotel and fast runway one three. So I know what I'm gonna say here. So I'm gonna be like uh, Cessna six oh seven at Tamiami Airport, taxi via Echo to Hotel and passing runway one three. And every time you're doing that, you're passing one to the other. You want to make sure you transmit that through Unicom so everybody sees you. Uh, this this is a very tiny airport. I think nobody fly in this airport. But if you're flying, let's say, from uh, John F. Kennedy or LaGuardia or Miami International or Chicago or Boston, there are high traffic airports and there's not... Uh, air traffic control is in the area. You want to use one to two point eight or clear yourself for everything. So now that I'm here, let's go ahead and check this. Search down six zero seven at Tamiami Airport. Taxi via Echo Hotel and passing runway one three to runway nine right. There you go. That's pretty easy. I tell them my intentions, and every time I'm moving to something, I'm, I'm going to tell my movements. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, before taxi check. Uh, before taxi let's go ahead and do my checklist so doors closed uh yes that's a must have but we used to close the door when we were uh, ready for takeoff so brakes on there you go brakes on flight controls free and correct what's happening here okay free and correct there you go uh, flight instruments set. So let's check this here. So I'm facing three six zero. I want to make sure my compass. It's going to be showing three six zero. As you can see, it was not aligned perfectly. So that looks like a three six zero to me. Okay. Altimeter two nine or nine or two. Uh, let me make sure I'm going to be using 29 or 9 or 2. Okay, that uh, seems pretty much accurate. 29 or 9 or 2. Uh, flight control screen check, fuel valve on. Yeah. Uh, make sure rich. Uh, trim set for takeoff. 
I have my trim set for takeoff right here. Uh, Mr. Trim Trottle. Oh, that's before takeoff. What am I doing here? Oh, let's go. Let's get ready for uh for taxi. Here you go. Let's start moving. So I'm gonna be taxiing to runway nine or right. So I know where I am. So that's hotel. And Tati via Echo. So I'm going to be going all the way to the right. All the way to the right. And now straight all the way. Okay. Usually this was the moment where my instructor was telling me what we were going to do uh you always want to make sure that the instruments are working properly you want to make sure that everything's looking good uh you don't want to go too fast either so if you're going too fast the instructor would like hey you're going too fast slow down okay yes sir <laughs> and um he'll be telling you hey you know what what we're going to do today uh we're going to go ahead and do uh traffic patterns that are that so uh, today it's going to be the right traffic pattern. You want to go ahead and climb to uh, an altitude of, uh, I don't know, 2,000 feet. And uh, we go from there. Okay, now this is runway 13, so let's get my clearance. Cessna 607 at Tamiami Airport, passing runway 13 to uh, and continue via Echo. And, uh, and what? So, yeah. So uh, he'll be telling you this is what we're going to do, traffic partner, you're going to go ahead, you're going to take off. Miami traffic, American 2457 clear, runway 8 right, departing uh, to the west of Miami. Okay, so that was another guy in uh, Unicorn 1 to 2.8. So, uh, yeah, you're going to take off, you're going to climb to 2,000 feet, then you're going to continue your upwind, then you're going to do your uh, crosswind, and then you're going to do your... Uh, downwind and then you're gonna do your base and then you're gonna do your final and uh, he always testing you uh he want to make sure that you're keeping your altitude he wants to make sure you're keeping your speed he wants to make sure you're doing everything the right way okay guys so another thing he never told me uh when he was gonna pretend i was having an emergency so at all times as uh, what they teach you in fly school is that your left hand always have to top the joke and your right hand always touches the throttle. And there were times when he was like, uh, David, go ahead and put your uh, hand off the throttle, whatever, and let's pretend that you're getting involved in an, act, in an emergency and you have to find a way for uh, on a place to land. So I was like, Okay, let me look for a place to land. He was we he was not simulating a an emergency at that moment, but uh, on the blink of an eye, he pretty much he just killed my power. He was like, "Oh, emergency! What are you gonna do now?" So that was fun. Also, emergencies before takeoff. Of course, we had to get the clearance from the uh, air traffic controller at that moment, telling tensions, uh, pretending emergency takeoff or something like that. So, here you go. Uh, when we used to get to this part, there was always plenty of other Cessnas, 172s from other flight schools in this area. So, he always used to tell me, don't stay in the middle. Trying to go, like, on the side so you can give some space to the uh, airplanes that have to get ready for takeoff and yada, yada, yada. And why does he tell me that? Because at the moment that you are here, 
uh, you have to start preparing the airplane before takeoff, which I did most of my checklist, but let's do it again. So before takeoff, doors closed. Let's go ahead and do that now. Usually we used to do it before uh, taking off. So I don't know why I don't have any sound. Okay, so there you go, we have sound now. And uh, so let's continue with the uh, with the checklist. So before takeoff, doors close, check, brake, brakes on, flight controls free and correct, I already did that, flight instrument sets, fuel valve on, I already checked that, Mr. Rich, uh, throttle 1700 RPM, Right here, that's about 1800. Total 1700 RPM. Magnetos, uh, one to five drop. So, left magneto, you see that drop in. Right magnetos, uh, let me show you so you can see the difference in drop in. You can see how it starts moving, so you always want to see that they're dropping. So that's my left magneto and my right magneto. Okay, so everything's looking good, everything's on green. So back to both. Uh, car key check. There you go. Engine instruments check. Altimeter check. Suction check, idle check. So throttle below 1000 RPMs, there you go. Radio set, transponder on off check. Uh, lights on. Forget to put my taxi lights on, but now it's Lendu lights on. And uh, throttle flexion lock, there you go. So normal takeoff, wing zero, call keep cold. Um, there you go. And shot off full open, elevator rotates 55 knots. That's going to be the uh, speed, the, uh, speed where you want to be rotating. And uh, climbing in between 70 to 80 knots. Uh, usually it used to be 79 for the taking off speed. So let's go ahead and get the gauge for takeoff and let's put this baby in the air. Uh, my desired altitude, it's going to be, and let's go with 1500. You know what, let's do, let's go ahead and put 2000. And, let's check everything, everything's looking good. RPM, okay, everything's looking good, yada, 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 okay. So now let's go ahead and request takeoff here, guys. Delta Cessna 607 at Tamiami Airport, uh, ready for takeoff from Winona, right? Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and start our takeoff.
for 55 knots here. Now, C207 outplay is both way, neither right. So, uh, this one I might take a little bit longer because I want to tell you something, guys. When you take it off, uh, if you're going your wrong way, hitting your upway, when you're turning, you're at cross -way. when you're flying parallel to one way, down way, when you're turning right, you're going over this way, turning face, uh, when you're turning right again, you're going to go flying. So right now I'm flying the heading of two and I zero. Uh, I think I'm good here. Uh, I'm flying it little by little. Uh, oh, I'm not too concerned. I'm going. I got to strike it out for you guys. And, uh, I think it's time for me to start turning to setting Cessna 607 at Tamiami Airport, downwind, one way, nine right. Intention, touch and go. Okay. So we are doing the traffic pattern here. I think, uh, I to the left, I mean, to the right, but it's looking good. I think we can find parallel now. Yeah, that's actually good. So I'm going down with now, so you can see, like I said, when you take it off, uh, you're flying one way in, you're flying upwind, when you turn, if you're flying right traffic, you take off it's upwind, you turn right is crosswind, you're flying parallel like I am now, you're flying downwind, one way down the right. As soon as you start turning right after you're flying parallel to the wrong way, you are turning base and when you turn in base and you turn right one more time you're going to be on the final. So my cruise speed is uh, 2027 RPMs but again I'm going to use this because I'm just going to trap the power. What I'm doing here, I'm going to start with my visa. So I'm going to start going down and I'm going to drop my about 2000 and it's 
start turning big soon. So I need to maintain my request. Triple seven heavy over a Scott at 10,250 knots. We're planning for the ILS runway 09 at this time, heading 120 about uh, 21 miles to actually 22 miles to grid. Hey, nice music by the way. <laughs> All right, so I'm too high over here, so I'm going to be low rated at about 1800 RPMs, and that's much too flat. adjusting my trim little by little. So now I'm going to be looking around 1700 RPMs. I can send RPMs. I'm still too low, but I think I'm going to be good. Yeah. So I'm looking for two yellows and two red at the end. Right here, right now, I see one red, which, ah, you know what? I'm perfect now. Great. I'm perfect. So two yellows and two reds. Uh, and looks like the wind's pushing me to the side. So, oh, I'm too low now. So, uh, most likely I will have to do a slip. A slip is when you take the yoke to the uh, opposite side where you're putting your rotor. I'm too low. Let's go ahead again, guys. Here, land the lights on. I'm not checking my, my checklist now, but I know right here, so I want to pay attention. I don't have it printed out, so it's going to be here, but I can go ahead and put it on my own. So, land it, final throw, 60 knots, flaps full. Uh, uh, flaps full, I touched down main first, let me go, okay. So, I have to start aligning to get wrong way. Again, looking for 60 knots. Now, if for some reason you feel like you have a plane still aligning, go ahead and use the rudder. So, you're getting the lines, you uh, wrong way.
that was so hard to think of. Okay, so we locked up. Looking for 55 again. Time to take off. Miami traffic in my cargo 87 heavy 10 miles to grid. Already on the localizer for one with zero nine. Cessna 607 up with runway 90 right to Miami. Okay, so I need to start heading 0 9 0 and 79 knots. Miami traffic, I'm a cargo A50, triple sub and heavy on final run with zero nine over grid. Traffic at Macaco 50 heavy, triple seven, final run with nine, five mile final. Seven, <laughs> 
I love that. Oh, no, it's funny. Hi. Okay. Hang on, let me. about that guys, I was just talking to my wife, I just got a little bit distracted here, uh, I had the yeah, mic on as well as nothing, so uh, let's go ahead, I'm turning final now, so I'm going to buy some on, and uh, start my descent here, I forgot to do five points, but for now, but with effects, uh, trim, you adjust your trim for your final, uh, so it's a 6 or 7 final run with under wipe, and I'm uh, RPM, go ahead and put around the two down. Miami traffic, I'm on cargo 5777, heavy taxiing to uh, cargo city.
Seven is picking up on the night arrive of Phoenix Park Express. So, it's 
start my descent now. Six zero seven, uh, Tamiami, uh, turning page from the right. Okay. What is this one, Tami? This is too long, he said I'm doing now on A for my first solo. But uh my notes are not accurate at all. Uh, yeah, why am I trying to be our lights for the whole time? Okay, we'll do it good. Uh nose down so you can pick up first.
know, at this moment, and the Houston Uni comes to you, and I know where you are, so this is out there, this is going to take me back to my ramp. Uh, hope you guys like this video today. I hope you learned a little bit of how to fly this flight and real flight for your pilot license uh, license that you get as a pilot. Uh, this is actually one of the most important procedures that you have to do, which is your traffic body. You know what to say, what to do, what to land, uh, what up point, cross point, down point, base, and final looks like. And I'm going to be teaching a lot more. I'm going to be making more videos about flight school. Um, like power off stalls, power on, continue ready communications. This is going to be useful for those of you that are at the Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you another day. Bye.